So to talk about what DSC is, um, I just want to say that it comes from the name. You can see that the name says differential scanning calorimetry, which means that we're measuring a difference in the heat flow between a sample site and a reference site. So in a DSC, like a heat flux DSC that we are talking about, uh, we have a silver cell that has two pedestals for the sample and the reference site. We place a small sample into a pan, which is then placed uh, on the sample side. We have a reference empty pan, and then the instrument heats and cools the cell and observes the change in heat flow coming due to changes taking place in the sample. So when we think about the heat flow, you can think of it as being comprised of the thermodynamic component as well as the kinetic component uh, of the properties of the material. And the instrument can give you insights into things like the glass transition, crystallization, level of cure, uh, any denaturation or decomposition that is associated with a heat-based signal. And a heat-based signal is universal. So when you think about a DSC, the types of data that you typically look at are plotted on a curve where you will see temperature typically along the x-axis and then what we call normalized heat flow uh, on the y-axis. And the graphs that you see will show you peaks and valleys. So depending on nomenclature, you can see that we have exotherms facing upwards. What that means is whenever you see a peak that is pointing upwards, that means that the sample is releasing heat. And this could occur for a number of reasons as listed over here. And on the other hand, if you have a peak facing downwards um, on this graph, that would be corresponding to an endothermic event such as a melt um, or certain types of transitions or when a liquid or solvent uh, vaporizes and takes heat um, as, it's, as the sample is being heated through. So a DSC is a really powerful uh, instrument gives you a lot of insight into things that are happening in your material. It gives you insight into characterizing it.